but again it's going to be a wet day so just be very safe out there on the black carpet as promised we get you ready for the annual conference uh, hosted by the institute of chartered accountants of trinidad and tobago their council member is here with me live on set marissa kwashi uh, kudos to you thanks for being here thanks for, for having the weather to <laughs> deal with the conference yes. um you know it's a big deal and and it's happening very soon uh, give me some details uh, about the conference uh, what okay. can we expect okay well this is the 13th annual accounting and international finance conference of icat it takes place on November 17th and 18th at the Hyatt Hotel. Um, so it's over two days and it's next week, Thursday and Friday. That's right. Um, registration is ongoing and it ends on November 15th. The conference starts around 8.30 each day and ends around 4 o'clock. The conference this really is about bringing together different persons from, you know, with different thought leaders and different um, industry experts to continue discussion on matters impacting the accounting and finance profession. Mm -hmm. We aim to, you know, allow participants to reconnect, to network, and to learn. Reconnect because it's the first time the conference is going to be held in person after a couple of years just being done virtually. Network, of course, you get to meet so many different people, hear so many different perspectives. We have a huge networking event on the last day. We have DJ Marcus Williams coming to, to help us, you know, unwind. Mm. And of course, we are there to learn. And you will earn 13 CPD credits. So us in this field, we basically have to get certain credits to just continue practicing and continue doing what we do. And you get 13, which is quite a lot. And the theme this year is Beyond Finance driving sustainability and reinforcing trust. And why is the theme uh, so important? What, what, what was the thought process behind that particular theme, okay. Beyond Finance? Well, the theme really comes or stems from the 2022-2025 strategic plan of ICAT. We feel that you know sustainability and trust are two key buzzwords these days that the accounting profession is really going to be grappling with um, in 2022 and beyond. Sustainability really speaks to meeting the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. And persons think it's all about environmentalism, and it's not. Yeah. So come to the conference and hear what it's really about. Yeah. Um, and of course, again, reinforcing trust. Um, during the pandemic, trust got a little bit of a beating. So we want to talk about how do you reinforce trust with your employees, your delegates? How do you reinforce trust in the opinion of others, such as myself in the accounting and finance profession? How do you reinforce trust in your own vision? How do you reinforce trust in yourself? Who are some of the presenters who will be at the conference, some of the personalities who will advance this very serious discussion? Well, we have one of our featured speakers, the Honorable Dr. Cormen Burt. We have the UN resident or representative for Trinidad and Tobago, Mr. Gerard Noto. And we also have the CEO of KC Confectionery Limited, Mr. Satnarine Bechu, who I'm sure I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing, you know, how is KC Confectionery dealing with some of the challenges impacting us? So those are some of the key feature speakers that we have at the conference this year. What's your role in sustainability? When we consider sustainability mm -hmm. and, and the conference and addressing these set issues, because yeah, you called some heavy hitters just mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. um, just give me some perspective in that regard. So sustainability really speaks to, you know, ensuring that when we make our investment decisions, we are also including or incorporating ESG issues and agendas. So ESG meaning environmental, economical, social and governance issues. Okay. So this conference really speaks to, speaks to how do we come together to make those kinds of investment decisions that not only impact businesses, but the broader society at large. At the top of ICANN's agenda is widening the lens of financial reporting to include ESG type matters. Because again, it's so pervasive. It's not just, ESG isn't just about today. It's about taking a leap of faith, making that investment decision now that we may never see. Our generation may never feel the impact, but certainly future generations will. And it speaks to responsible leadership and responsible accounting, which is at the, top, you know, the heart of everybody's you know, agenda these days. Yeah, because if it's one thing, you know, the numbers, the numbers don't lie, the numbers, I mean, once the numbers stay on point, you know, mm -hmm. there is, as you rightfully said, sustainability and transparency, mm -hmm. and it's important. I want to find out, you mentioned credits for those who are in the field. Mm -hmm. So, yes, it's for those professionals within the space, mm -hmm. but is it also open for people who are not 
let's mm -hmm. say, uh, wearing the accountant hat? It is. It's actually for anybody involved in, let's say, business. Okay. Some of the topics we're going to talk about is beyond the profession. Yeah? How is it evolving? How is the profession changing? We're going to talk about talent management. We have a panel that includes persons from every of the generations, baby boomers, millennials, generation X, Y, Z. And we bring everybody together to hear that perspective. So that's just not going to impact an accountant. It's going to impact anybody interested in business. Of course, we have to deal with our own members. So we have technical topics around IFRS 17, which is the new insurance standard. But again, we speak to leadership talent management, technological development. You know you hear about digital transformation. Mm. We're going to talk about the metaverse. What does this look like? It's not only for Spider-Man. It's also the accountants living in the metaverse. And what does that mean for us and business leaders on the whole? So again, it's a very wide-ranging topics that different personalities, different persons can really benefit from. I'm happy it's, it's extended beyond just mm -hmm. finance professionals. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a good look. Mm -hmm. uh, who are some of the sponsors making it happen? Okay, so we have um, the Titanium sponsors, the Salcott. We have PwC and Ernst & Young and KPMG be also being sponsors, PKF, Grant Thornton, A.V. Knowles. We have um, RBC. We have Flo. So we have quite a few persons really contributing to help this conference get off its feet. Let me tell you, Marissa, uh, my sister is also an accountant. <laughs> Good for her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I see the kind of hours and the kind of work she puts in, and mm -hmm. I have full respect for your profession. Mm -hmm. I think it's one that's, yeah, clearly it's fulfilling, mm -hmm. but I know you all put in mm -hmm. some serious work. Mm -hmm. How's been the journey for you? I just want to find out your personal journey in the 25 um, years you've been doing it. Well, I, um, okay, let me, let me change my Cornwall accent. So I went to St. Joseph's Cornwall in St. Joseph and developed my passion for accounting there. My dad is an accountant as well, so you know when he would come home and talk about some of the things that he's experiencing, it also laid the foundation. And when I came out of school, the next step was, okay, what do I do now? Where do I go? And based on career management and discussions with various people, I ended up in the accounting and auditing space. Mm. So I've been an auditor for the past 25 years, to be quite exact. And, um, and now I am actually an audit partner at KPMG. Excellent. And I'm a council member, so it's about giving back. So yes, we spend the hours, we do what we got to do, but we really are doing this for the public and public trust in what we do as well. Yeah. So again, that is why these conferences are so important. Come and hear the different perspectives. Come and hear mine. Come and hear um, the minister. Come and hear the CEO. Come and hear the, your employees. Come That's and right. hear these perspectives because you can go back to your own organization and really make a difference. ICAT annual conference, the 17th and 18th Hyatt Regency. We're going to wrap things up. Uh, any place online people can get more information? Yes, you can. Just go to www.icat.org and all the information is there. Registration, everything. A registration, everything. Or call the Secretariat at 623-8000. Hey, Marissa, well done. Uh, very articulate and passionate. I can <laughs> feel it uh, when you speak. And it's going to be a great success. Okay, thank you very much. Let's get that pause in. We head across to Egypt. Ryan will give us the latest out of the COP27 discussions. When we come back, we head across to Egypt with Ryan Beecher.